What's up guys? Good night YouTube. Welcome to this premiere on my channel. I have finally gotten Miko, the new legend, super epic Arum skin. And this game does not only feature one Arum, but there will be a support Arum on the other team as well. And as you might guess, I am playing the support. I am accompanying the Violet with the Trigger Happy Golden Dragon skin. And this is going to be a serious fight at who is going to be the best support. Is it the other Arum or is it me? Is it the copycat or is it the real Miko Arum, Void of Dust Gaming? Am I going to be the best Arum ever or is this going to be the Miko? And this game is not about beautiful plays, it's not about pro plays, it's not about having the best build or whatsoever. It's mainly to show you how cool that skin is. As you can see, some visual things have changed. You have bells instead of those spirit beasts. You've got that beautiful kimono style um, inspired thing that she's wearing. She still has those cat ears. She has got some kind of shrine, which looks like a Japanese shrine. And from my feeling, I think that she is talking Japanese as well. And I think that's pretty hilarious because we have the Chinese festival of the pig pretty soonish. So this is quite surprising that they have picked something like that and I nearly overexposed at this scene I was going into the brush but I didn't uh, kind of think that there would be three people but never mind this is the first kill of the game and as you can see the violet does a good job here and otherwise my two would have killed that Copycat Trader Aram as well, so no worries here. And as you can see, she has those. She's got those, like some kind of like reddish um, package banding around her belt. And as soon as you activate your one, you <coughs> get these massive um, pieces of cloth that are surrounding her as well. I think it looks beautiful. Like when that skin appeared. On YouTube I knew I had to buy it I had to get it and unfortunately it took me over 4,000 vouchers to get it um, I had to top up my vouchers by 14,000 that was the invest that I had to do luckily that gave me the opinion or opportunity to um, end the codex so I am uh, the owner of the latest Tulan skin as well um, and I have got Irie, the Shinobi, with the um, with the rewards as well. But yeah, this was like shitloads of vouchers that I had to pay for that. And I think it is worth it, but I can see that people who are not playing the game um, as often as I do, if you're playing it more casually, that will just be too stupid for you, because why should you do that? Like, yeah, I know, that's crazy. 4,000 vouchers... Um, I have to, like, to be fair, um, I have been quite unlucky because it was, like, Aaron was the last reward that I did get on the Great Deals draw. And as you can see, I used my ult to <laughs> get Aaron here. I, um, got the contact. Unfortunately, our Violet died, which is unfortunate here. As I said, because otherwise we would have been able to push the other tower. Uh, but this is going to be a, a pretty vast game. It's going to be longer than 25 minutes or something. Which you might have already seen. Because you have checked out the details in the video description. So yeah, this is, this is me running away. I hope that I'm doing a recall soon. Because they changed her recall. Like, <laughs> if you... If you, if you take what they changed in terms of what she does right now and what she's able to do and it's like particle effects and stuff like that, if you think that it, this costs around 20 euros, that must, be, that must be pretty much how much it costs 
that is like, wow, why would you do something like that? And I managed to kill the Aram here, but the Wukong, that is just too much for us. That was unexpected. I hate Wukong with his stealth ability. But yeah, as I ranted ab about the price, I think it's pretty pricey. And if you, if you check out other people who are uh, located on other servers, they do tell you sometimes that they get those things cheaper or sometimes even free or sometimes as some sort of special rally and that means that it's free afterwards but i guess it's just like i, I would say it's too expensive for the the result that you get back like i love it like this is going to be the only skin that i will play um with Aram. i would have loved if they would have done something else than the bells um but then it could be that i'm not that experience with belts in Japanese traditions like I do know some stuff about Japan because I have read a lot of um, Japanese comics and I've read some and I watched some anime and stuff like that so I do know something about that like that was stupid like that scene was so stupid and I won't, won't survive like that will will not be the case Wukong is just too fast um but yeah I I think for the invest of so many vouchers, it's not that great. Like they they try to they try to sell it as a as a as a great deal, but yeah, if you do get the the item, um, if you do get her at first, you might just have a great deal. But then I was unlucky. I had it at the last reward, <laughs> and with Liliana, it was uh, the one before the last. So ah, it just feels like. You do get the feeling that this might be on purpose. And with that, it feels, it just feels wrong. Like, if that is the case, uh, nope, guys, this is not something that you should do, Tencent. If that is your, if that is your intention, milking the people, uh, nope, no, 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 this is not what you should do because... Um, to be fair, like I won't do it for the for the next time unless the skin is like really delicious. Um, nope. Like I would say, for the characters you love, you are more of willing to do so. Like um, uh, that was a great two. She's almost dead. Um, if it's like an invest like that for some character that you play a lot and that you really really like that's different like i guess there is a tendency to spend some vouchers on that of course not if you are not a voucher person but otherwise it's kind of like why would you do that because you don't get anything back from the game like you are not dealing more damage you are not faster you don't have like a bigger armor or something even if the model looks like that so there's not really the need that you buy those things there was just like for optical reasons so you don't have that you don't have that pressure to buy them but then on the other hand it's just it's just nice to have them <coughs> but i won't do it for the for the next character unless it's flash like i really love flash Flash is like one of the best characters um, from my playstyle. I think they won't do it on, let's say, Quillen. I really like Quillen. They won't do it on Quillen. They won't do it on the new character and the latest character, Florentino. So, and Rick, like they could, and they won't do it on Richter. Like Richter's model looks stupid. Like I don't like the the second skin. Uh, or like the first skin that he got, so I think that looks stupid. But then, um, yeah, they won't do it for the for the for the newest characters, so there's not really that much of a need to buy those. And yeah, and I will kill Fennec here. Oh yeah, he's dead, and that gives me the Aegis. So they won't do it for Fennec, so uh, for for Richter, so there's not really that much of a need to to wait for that. I <coughs> I have seen the Celestial Kali. I've seen that. It looks great. Like, guys, it looks so great. Like, it's a really nice model. Like, I've just seen the concept art. I don't have seen the, the real model um, game-wise, but it looks great. Like, it looks really, really great. It's, like, one of the one of the best skins in the game. So, uh, you should get it. Like, if you're buying it, you should get it. But then Kali isn't that good. Like, I don't, I don't like her playstyle, so I won't get her. 
And you can see that they're doing these kind of like these kind of series. So you've got the Celestial series, um, you've got those sci-fi inspired series um, with uh, like Nefgroff, uh with Murad. So you've got that, um, and yeah, they do they do those things, and it does make sense to have some kind of series. They do it with League of Legends as well. I think they do it with mobile heroes and all those sorts of things as well, because it just forces players to to if you have buy it, bought one, um, the the hurdle to get the second skin or to get another skin isn't isn't that great anymore. So they have to trigger you once, and then everything just goes smoothly from your pocket into their pocket so but i mean no one forces you to do so so it's your free will um i mean i have spent like 50 or 60 euros on that game so i'm all right with that like um yeah i do get some uh some gift cards from time to time so yeah that helps a lot but of course, 60 euros are a invest, so you got to be careful on that. So don't don't waste your money on that. If you, if you like, I do have a regular job, so that is that is all right. Like, I'm good to go. Um, but yeah, you gotta you gotta know what you gotta do. It is your free choice. Um, so. Uh, I said in the beginning of the video that this is just for like pure reasons of showing how beautiful she looks and I have to admit that I do need to talk a bit about the build because mainly I played Aram before as some sort of off tank um, slash top lane hybrid thing. Mm. And that worked really really well for me. Uh, great job here. Like, I, I forced them all to fight against me, so I was able to, to lure them into it. Um, yeah, to be, like, what I wanted to say is, um, I don't like the build that I've chosen. Like, it is a popular build, and it's supposed to be a support one. You can see that because I have the Essence of the Wind and that is giving me um, a speed boost and a shield and that is always a nice thing because you can give that to your AD carry so he can, if his health is low, he can just run away. But then afterwards um, you get the Gilded Greaves, you get the Aegis, I'm fine with those two, like I would buy them as well but with the fourth choice... Um, I think the, the, the item is situational, like if you want to have sustain, you can also start off with the Phoenix, get the passive and then upgrade to boots immediately. Um, but I think I'm not too happy with the Mantle of Ra, because I think that's, like yeah, you do get the area of effect and I, I see the fact why you would do so, because Aram is... A tanky character and she will always be in the thick of fights like she will be in the middle of those because she has to initiate but then on the other hand I think it is just not what you're supposed to do like that's not that's not the best item um, that suits you most because like if you take frosties frosties gives you more health gives you more AP and on the other hand it gives you um, like a speed boost as well and I think that's just worth more than the the armor buff that you get from the Aegis. So you can you can go with more health. And more health just means that you're going to benefit from your uh, lifestealing abilities. So right now, like as you can see, I just I just checked it and I wasn't too fond of it. Um so I'm going with magic defense right now um uh, because that's what I need. Because Kali just she scales and she does a lot of damage, so my intention was to get some magic resistance here. Um, and I guess this is going to take quite a while. Oh no, the video is going to start to, to start sooner, uh, to end sooner, because I played a match afterwards. So this is going to be a faster video, I said. You might have wondered because um, you have seen it, but yeah, never mind. I'm afraid there will be... I guess there will be no recall here, so uh, that's stupid because recall is like the best. It's like the best animation. It's so great. It's gonna be the best recall ever. 
didn't pay attention here that my team wasn't following up and my team was following up then in the wrong moment so the other Adam grabbed me and the other Aram was able to oh me and because my whole team doesn't know how to play with Arams they all put all their efforts on the other Aram and that killed me because if you are attacking an Aram and she's ulting uh, she will transfer the damage to your team member and you're dead if you are going full dirt mode but this game is already in the end stadium we are crushing the first tower and yep there goes Fennec bye bye Fennec you have to leave Fennec manages to defeat the Tara, but this is game, so that wasn't too bad. Short video, and it's going to be uploaded immediately to you guys. That was the first Aram premiere on my... Yeah, there she goes. She's beautiful. She looks so fine. So this is like the first Aram ever that I am playing with the new skin. That will be the skin that I'm playing most of the time from now on. Uh, Butterfly is a well-deserved MVP. Let's go into the statistics. Da -da 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 -da. There you go. I don't get anything special. Uh, but then I'm not the worst player. In fact, I am pretty okay. Now I'm better than the other Aram, so that's enough. So guys, thanks for watching the video. I am Void of Dust Gaming. This was the first Aram video, and there will be more to follow. Have a good night. Bye-bye.